What's up guys, it's TechnoViking23, coming to you today with some commentary about Halo 5 multiplayer, and more particularly today I'm going to be talking about the requisition uh, pack system in Halo 5, and why I can't stand it whatsoever. Now, I'm going to say that this is based mainly on my personal experience with the game, in terms of opening these rec packs, and also from several people uh, and friends who still play Halo 5, who I kind of picked their brains on this issue. Um, now I'm just going to come right out and say it. I do not like the rec pack system whatsoever in Halo 5 with regards to um, armor customization and weapon skins. That's really where my main problem comes in. I don't really have much of an issue with the requisitions you know, that you get to use in the Warzone game mode. Um, I think it's fine the way that works with the random drops and the RNG in the packs. What really irritates me though is how they put so much RNG into getting actual unlocks most players want, which is the, you know, to make them look unique. Um, the armor skins, the weapon skins, the things that make your Spartan look pretty cool. And I just gotta be honest, as much as I've been playing Halo 5 multiplayer, I just get garbage drops. I don't get anything good in any of my packs. I get like 18 million mongooses, uh, which <laughs> to me are completely useless in any game mode in, 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 in Warzone. But, um, I, you know, I've been playing the game for a while now. I think I only have like three helmets unlocked and two visors and maybe like two chest pieces for my armor. I have no weapon skins at all. Uh, and it's really just irritating when I see these other people in the game who look kind of cool because they actually got some neat looking skins and things. And it reminds me a lot of how much I used to enjoy playing Halo Reach and even Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 because you had a customization system that was based a little bit on progression and not so much this random crap that all these companies like to use these days with these RNG packs and these, these pay stores and things. So. Uh, I really wish they would go more to a system where the armor skins and the weapon skins are something you unlock through your progression and your performance in the game. I really like that about uh, Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3, the Call of Duty games. I know people probably think that sounds silly, uh, but I thought it was cool where, you know, if you wanted a certain emblem or a certain title or a certain camo for your gun, you could go do an achievement to get that, whether it was 250 headshots or get a triple kill with a grenade or stick somebody with a sticky grenade and then have them kill three of their buddies, you know. Um, there were different things you could do and achievements you could perform in the game that made you feel invested in the game, that made you feel like you had unlocked and earned something. And for me, when you go put everything in this RNG system, like in Halo 5, it just it, you lose that progression in the game. It doesn't feel like you're accomplishing anything. When you play and play and play and play, and you continue to get crap and crap and crap in these packs that you buy, um, it really just makes you feel like you're not even getting anything. You're not working towards anything. And that's something I like in my games. I like to see progression. I like to see how I'm unlocking things as I play. Uh, in Halo Reach, it was really cool how you could, you know, you earned credits playing the multiplayer, but as you ranked up, you also unlocked more armor uh, customization that you could purchase, so you could make your Spartan look however you wanted to. Um, whereas within Halo 5, it's completely random. You know, you might open 100 packs, you might not get one armor skin, so you're still stuck with the basic kind of crappy look in Spartan armor. Well, everybody else looks really cool. And really all the RNG is, is it's to make players continue to waste time playing the game. I mean, they want you to keep playing the game. In my case, I would keep playing the game if I had a progression system. Um, when I just keep getting random crap in these packs, it makes me not really want to open them anymore. It makes me not really want to play the game. So I'm one of those players where I don't feel invested. I will lose interest and stop playing. Whereas probably the majority of the players they have are going to just keep playing because they, they hope that they're going to unlock something. They have this, you know, it's like a gambling system. They get it hooked on it. They just keep on opening packs, opening packs, opening packs. Oh, my next pack is going to give me something good. And I, I'm unfortunately, I'm not like that. You know, there was enough of that in Destiny. It's one of the reasons I didn't like and eventually quit playing Destiny. Um, but like I said, overall, I just don't like having so much RNG, especially around cosmetic items. I think you should be able to earn those. Um, in the actual game. Like I said, Halo Reach lets you unlock them. In the Modern Warfare games, you know, with Call of Duty, you could actually go through and unlock your cosmetic options through your actual performance uh, in the game. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much why I don't care whatsoever about these requisition packs in Halo 5. I think it was a really poor decision to go to that kind of system. You know, even in Halo 4, um, even though the multiplayer is pretty much considered crap by most of the Halo veterans and most of the people that enjoy Halo, um, you had a, a leveling system where you actually unlocked more armor pieces as you leveled up and, and did certain things within the game. And I really wish they had kept something like that in Halo 5 instead of making it, uh, like I said, completely random for how you go through here and get um, and get these items. You know, it's just, and uh, you guys may have a different experience. I know there's some people out there who have, like, amazing RNG, like, 
people in Destiny who would kill a level two dragon, get a get a legendary drop that would turn into Yallerhorn. Um, you know, but I'm not that kind of player. I seem to have horrible luck when it comes to RNG. And quite honestly, the majority of my friends I talk to uh, who still play Halo 5 really don't have much luck either. And, you know, they open these gold packs and just con continue to get crap. Like I said, I get like 18 mongooses in every pack. It's ridiculous. It's a useless requisition. Can't even use it in half the game. And, you know, all I want to do is get some cool armor, get some cool weapons, make my Spartan look kind of neat when I'm playing with other players. Because that's how you differentiate yourself. That's how you get invested in the game. That's how you feel like you've progressed in the game. Is, you know, you, you've unlocked things and and picked it up by doing it yourself, um, you know. So I really wish 343 had a way they could change that. I hope if they do, you know, eventually do Halo 6 that they make a much better system where you can earn it on your own, you know, whether it's by, you know, with weapon skins, it really should be tied to your performance. Like you get 100 headshots with a Magnum or, you know, 200 kills with the assault rifle or really anything, you know, get 30 explosion kills with a Needler. You know, there's all kinds of unique stuff they could tie it into and really give players that sense of, hey, I earned this, hey, I'm invested in this game. I want to keep playing this game instead of just making it an endless time sink with these crappy RNG rolls. So anyways, guys, that's uh, my little rant for today on Halo 5 and the requisition system. Like I said, I don't really have a problem with using the requisitions in Warzone. I think it's kind of neat, and that's okay for those to be random. You know, you don't want everybody loading up on the top wrecks. Uh, you want everybody to have to kind of work as a team together, but at the same time, I really think the cosmetic options and all that needs to be moved into... A, an individualized system for each player where they unlock it at their own pace and they can go after what they want in terms of the skins for the weapons and the armor. So that's what I would do to change Halo 5 and make it a little bit better, um, you know, in terms of the multiplayer. And like I said, I hope 343 does not do this again uh, when they do Halo 6. It would be really disappointing. And considering how disappointing Firefight already is, I did my other video about that. Um, I really just, I'm not sure what direction 343 is really going with Halo 5 because, uh, or just in Halo in general, because, you know, at least in Halo 4, you still had a pretty solid campaign. You had um, really solid Spartan Ops. It was really fun. Gave you a lot of more game to play. Um, the multiplayer wasn't the best, but it was serviceable at times. And then you go into Halo 5, where you probably have, in my opinion, the weakest Halo campaign out of all the games. Uh, there's just really, I feel, no, no need to go through and replay it. Really just don't care for it. I like the characters, just really don't care all that much for... Um, just how short the campaign was and how weak the story felt and things like that And then you have multiplayer, which is actually halfway decent. The individual arena stuff is pretty good I have to admit I like to play Slayer quite a bit um, But the the war zone is kind of a letdown the firefight is a huge letdown for me in terms of how you're just so dependent on how good your team is and how random it is in terms of actually getting a good team um, But you know, I don't know what the direction of Halo is right now It just doesn't seem like they really have never been able to get their feet on the ground and running with Halo so far. You know, they're the biggest use of the Master Chief Collection and a lot of their stuff. So, um, you know, who knows if 343 is going to get it together, but, you know, they just gave them some ideas there where they could actually sort of fix Halo 5's requisition system. Uh, let me know if you guys agree, if you disagree, uh, what you think about the rec system in general. Anyways, guys, it's going to do it for me. Hope you guys are having a great day. Thanks, as always, for watching, and I'll see you again next time.